Well, hey everybody, this is D, and this is Down the Wormhole. Today, we're getting some better eggs. So as you can see, I've ended up using some bubble wrap. This guy just did not want to make a nest at all. He refused for like three days. He made one in the little container when I put him beside her. And since moving in the big tank, I think he was mad I destroyed his bubble nest. So I put in some bubble wrap, just a little square there like you can see, and he instantly began blowing bubbles underneath it. Now I have bred this guy before, and he didn't get a mark on him or leave a mark on the female the last time, which is just amazing. This time he got a little nip out of his top fin, but nothing bad. Can you see the eggs falling? You figure out what's going on yet? The females was just at the top there, a little stunned. She's going down there now to grab some eggs. So yeah, this is my Dumbo. Just love him. He's got a beautiful half moon tail. Awesome Dumbo ears. I like that his fins aren't too short, which is why I'm going with a play cat line with the Dumbos, just to make sure he doesn't have any trouble swimming in the future. This line has also been a bit of one of my experiments. I've been trying to figure out how to get a Dumbo with only having one Dumbo. <laughs> so this is actually his daughter from the previous spawn. I went with a multicolored as one in the background was definitely a marble female. I've been having a blast watching a lot of them change colors, so... <laughs> there they kinda thought they wrapped and they run around looking for eggs for a second. So I've been conditioning these guys with bed bug bites, mealworms that I raise upstairs, fish freaks plus krill formula, and brine shrimp. I am allergic to the blood worms so I do feed a lot of other things to get the protein in there. There, now you can see an actual proper wrap. It did take me a little bit to sneak in the room to catch all this. I hope you guys are enjoying. So she's okay. She just lays there kind of stunned. Gives him enough time to make sure he can get the eggs. Did you count how many came out that time? <laughs> if you got it, write a little comment on the bottom. So this is my definite favorite part of the whole thing. I just love breeding bettas. I've been doing this since I was, I think my first batch was when I was 19 or 20, and <laughs> I keep coming back to it no matter what happens. I did also have a cup in there. I thought that would get him to build a bubble nest. That is what he bred under last time was the half a styrofoam cup. But he definitely didn't have any interest in it this time. You can see if you look just in the middle, you can actually see the eggs there. This guy took such good care of his eggs last time that he put so many bubbles at them that he pushed them right to the top of the nest. I'm sure a few of them dried out, which is why we didn't have as big a hatch. So having this bubble wrap there has kind of been a bit of a bonus for this male. I do have duckweed in the water for some live plants, a java fern, and my other floating plants, just loving it. I keep an almond leaf in the water. I do keep the bubbler running, as you can see. So there is a little bit of surface agitation all the time. I'm loving this heater in there. It is for multi-tank addictions. 
I won it in a prize. And I do give the female just a little bit of a pipe there to hide in during the <laughs> breeding process just in case it gets crazy. These guys were just amazing to each other again as you can see just one little nip out the top of his pin otherwise they both came out looking amazing. I have taken her out at this point this is just him guarding his bubbles afterwards. So this is the next morning and <laughs> you can just see the eggs. So Thank everybody for watching and subscribing. I will definitely do some more videos and I hope you'll follow along. Please like and subscribe for mommy's videos. Bye. Bye.